In this installment, we're going to be going over the MLB bet slate for Wednesday, September 4th. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef Dan. I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for our Wednesday MLB bet slate we got going on. Uh, but before we deep dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mets and the D. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about that Patreon. Right now, we're at the homepage of the YouTube channel, currently at 8.32 thousand subscribers. This is the road to 10K, and we are well on our way because you guys are showing up each and every single day. If you're already subscribed, continue to like and comment. That's going to help the YouTube algorithm so we can grow to a much broader audience. All right. Now for that Patreon, remember that link is provided down below. You're getting daily bets, future bets, and access to the group chat that is going off 24-7. All right, so today will be most likely is going to be the last MLB bet video here. Uh, we're going to be rolling over right over to football. I plan to do the Thursday and Friday games as one video. And then the weekend games, I might break it up to two or one. We'll see how that goes. But definitely the next NFL video will be covering the Thursday and the Friday game. All right, uh, let's get into this slate. I'm so excited to announce I have partnered with BetStamp and Sign Up Expert to provide you guys with an easier way to sign up with any sportsbook in your area. If you go to the link in the description down below, you will be directed to this page you see here. It automatically displays all available sportsbooks in your area, plus their current promotions. For example, you could take the plays given in this video and apply it to any other sportsbooks you don't currently have and reap the rewards. Now let's get into the slate. First game up here, we have the New York Yankees, 80 and 58, going against the Texas Rangers, 65 and 73, in Globe Life Field here. Current odds, Yankees are road favorites, minus 115, with the comeback of the Rangers at a minus 105. Total runs set at nine. Uh, for the public bet percentage here, 78% of the bets, 99% of the money towards the side of the Yankees. For the total runs, 99% of the bets and money towards the over nine in the total. Uh, pitching matchup here, Marcus Stroman, 10 and 6 with a 3.81 ERA. Going against Nathan Evaldi, 10 and 7 with a 3.60 ERA. Uh, Nathan Evaldi has pitched very well this year for the Texas Rangers. Has been strong at home with a 3.16 ERA, a low whip and average to both lefties and righties. His issue has always been power to lefties, all right? All right, so lefty power, 1.74 home run per nine. And he has struggled against this Yankees team in previous years and this year. So this year he faced them one time, three innings pitched, uh, three earned runs and only four strikeouts. All right. They pulled his plug pretty early in the situation. And looking at the BVP, the BVP isn't better at all. A 294 batting average. He's given them nine home runs to this uh, Yankees team as well. It's a lot of question marks coming from the side of Nathan Evaldi because all the issues he has in the power department all right marcus stroman has been phenomenal on the road he pitches poorly in new york but on the road he's a different guy here a 2.56 uh era um on the road and he has been very elite as well on the road low whip and average to both lefties and righties he's barely giving up any power okay well below one home run per nine uh so for this game here we're going to be leaning and agreeing with the the uh sharps here on the yankees Give me the Yankees as road favorites on a minus 115 and give me the under on the nine. Uh, I don't expect the Yankees to go crazy on the Texas Rangers, but they will be able to get a couple home runs here and there against Eovaldi. And I expect Stroman to pitch a phenomenal game here. Next game up, we have the Chicago Cubs going against the Pittsburgh Pirates here in Wrigley Field. The current odds are not yet out on this particular game. I'm going to give you my guesstimate. On this line, we got Shada Imanaga here, going to against Bailey Falter. Cubs are the stronger team here. I probably expect the Cubs to be home favorites around minus 175 with the comeback of the Pirates at a plus 140. Um, looking at this pitching matchup here, Bailey Falter, 6-7 with a 4.41 ERA uh, and a 1.29 whip. 
going up against Imunaga, 11-3, 3.14 ERA in a 1.05 whip. So he has been outstanding since being acquired uh, for the Chicago Cubs on the road and at home. His home ERA is a 3.20, low whip, low average to both lefties and righties, and a very high strikeout rate. His only blemish is going to be power to lefties. He's given up a, well, power to both lefties and righties. Versus lefties, a 1.15 home run per nine. And against righties, it's a little bit worse at a 1.64 home run per nine. He faced this team already. Phenomenal uh, matchup there. Well, phenomenal game that he had. Seven innings pitch, 11 strikeouts. It's your classic Imonaga performance here. Bailey Falter, surprisingly, despite the fact he has struggled on a road with a 4.73 ERA, um, he's had some issues versus lefties here, a 317 batting average and a 1.57 whip. But in two games, he has pitched very well against the Cubs. 13 innings, uh, two earned runs, one home run, and only three strikeouts. So the strikeouts are not there. All right, he's not throwing out strikeout stuff. He's getting outs in other forms. Uh, but he is being able to work his way around this lineup. But that can come definitely... Um, to an end here because they're going to be seeing him for the third time all right so that could be a huge factor cubs absorbing information on falter i think they can finally get to him in this third time around uh for the total i'm probably going to guess depending on the win if it's blowing in or out most likely it's going to be around eight eight and a half i like the under in the total i, I expect imanaga to pitch very well um, and I expect uh, Falter to be okay, but get hit up by this Chicago Cubs team. I don't expect him to go eight full runs here. Um, top play, not top play. Secondary play will be the under on the total, whatever it comes out as. The top play is going to be the Chicago Cubs on the money line with Imunaga on the mound. Definitely look at strikeout uh, props for Imanaga as well. Next up in Kauffman Stadium here, we have the Kansas City Royals, uh, 75 and 64, going against the Cleveland Guardians, 79 and 59. Uh, looking at the current odds, we have the Royals at minus 145 on the money line, with the comeback of the Guardians at a plus 120. Total run set at eight and a half. Public bet percentage here, uh, no information as of right now on the money line, but for the total runs, 98% of the bets and 98% of the money towards the over eight and a half interesting matchup here two strong pitchers ben lively 11 and 8 with a 3.92 era going up against seth lugo 14 and 8 with a 3.12 era uh for ben lively he's been good at at home and on the road uh on the road a 3.90 era on the road his issue has been uh the home run ball versus lefties a 1.76 home run per nine and versus righties a 1.32 home run per nine uh all the average and whips are around the same here 250 range 1.2 whip nothing too too concerning uh for seth lugo he's been one of the studs for this royals rotation here between him reagan's and even michael waka this kansas city royals team has been uh pretty good um uh, lugo at home a 3.36 uh, ERA at home, he's been very dominant. Same thing, low whip and average to both lefties and righties. He's faced this team twice already here in the Guardians. One game at home in Kansas City, it was six innings pitched, 10 strikeouts. That's what you expect from him. But on the road in Cleveland, it was six innings pitched, five earned runs, and five strikeouts. But that was on the road there. So I do expect Seth Lugo to, to perform like he usually does at home. Ben Lively, um, he's been phenomenal. He could give up a home run here or there as well. This game is going to be low scoring. So love the under on the eight and a half. This team here in the Royals have lost uh, the, the first two games here in this three game series. I do not expect them to get swept. So give me the Kansas City Royals here on the money line and give me the under on the eight and a half. In Lone Depot Park here, Miami Marlins, uh, 51 and 87, going to be against the Washington Nationals, 62 and 76. Looking at the current odds here, we have the Nationals as road favorites, minus 140 on the money line, with the comeback of the Marlins at a plus 115. Total run set at eight and a half. Public bet percentage here, 88% of the bets, 92% of the money on the side of the Washington Nationals. And for the total runs, 97% of the bets and money towards the over 8.5. Pitching matchup here, Mackenzie Gore, 8-11 with a 4.45 ERA. Going up against Valente Beloso, 2-2 two two with a 4.32 ERA. 
Uh, I'm pretty shocked to see that Belozo's ERA is only 4.32 because he has been uh, an absolute gas can uh, so far. Last two starts, he's given up it was in eight innings. He's given up 11 earned runs and six home runs and seven walks. Uh, I think teams are finally figuring out this rookie right now and is looking really bad. A 5.87 home ERA versus lefties. It's a, a 1.80 home run per nine, a 265 batting average, and a 1.44 whip against righties. It's a 3.86 home run per nine and a 323 average and a 2.4 whip. So everything is looking very bad for Valente on his side. Uh, Mackenzie Gore has been okay this year. Uh, his main issue um, is going to be righties. He's pitched against lefties very well. Righties have his, been his issue slightly. Not giving up much in the, the power department, but a 288 batting average and a 1.49 whip. I think the, the clear advantage is on the side of the Nationals here, going up against a gas can in Belozo. Uh, give me the Nationals on the money line, and I would consider the over on 8.5 total for this game here. In the Great American Small Park here, we have the Cincinnati Reds, 66 and 73, going against the Houston Astros here, 75 and 63. Current odds for this one, Astros are road favorites, minus 140 on the money line with the comeback of the Reds at a plus 115. Total run set at nine. Public bet percentage here, 77% of the bets, 94% of the money on the side of the Houston Astros. And for the total runs, 77% of the bets, 75% of the money towards the over nine. Um, pitching matchup here, Spencer Arrighetti, 7-11, 4.63 uh, ERA. Going up against Nick Martinez, who is 6-6 six six with a 3.78 ERA. Uh, Spencer Arrighetti on the road, a 4.87 ERA. Um, he's pitched a little bit better than what he's done at the beginning of the season where he was getting absolutely tattooed. He still has some issues against righties. In that home run department, a 1.44 home run per nine, a 278 batting average, and a 1.50 whip. And the versus lefties, he's given up tons of opportunities here with a 13% walk rate versus left-handed bats. Uh, for the Reds and Nick Martinez, he's pitched okay. Uh, 4.62 ERA at home versus lefties. He's given up a 291 batting average and a 1.27 whip. Not much in the home run department. And versus righties, this is where he gives up home runs. This is where he struggles the most. A 1.21 home run per nine and a 320 batting average with a 1.45 whip. And a majority of this Houston Astros, Astros offense will be right-handed batters. So those are, those are going to be the issues here. The, the play for this game, I like the total on the over of nine runs. Uh, that's going to be the top play uh, over nine. For this particular matchup, both of these guys are concerned, all right? We got Nick Mer Martinez struggling against righties, and then Spencer Arrighetti has been super inconsistent. I don't know if you watched me in previous videos, but I told you this guy is Jekyll and Hyde. He'll have a good game when you least expect it, and then a bad game when you don't expect it. This is the type of environment where that bad game might pop up. If this was against the Orioles, somehow he'll pitch a shutout. Uh, but this game here is going to be very scary for me to trust Spencer Arrighetti. So I'm going to lean to the value and give me the Reds on the plus one and a half as the secondary play. But the main play will be the over on nine runs. Last but not least here, we have the Toronto Blue Jays in rogers center 67 and 73 going up against the philadelphia phillies 82 and 56 current odds for this matchup phillies are road favorites minus 125 with the comeback of the blue jays at a plus 105 total run set at eight public bet percentage here 79 percent of the bets 92 percent of the money towards the side of the phillies for the total runs 94 percent of the bets and money towards the over eight on the total Christopher Sanchez here, 9-9 with a 3.49 ERA. Going to be against Bowden Francis, 8-3 with a 3.66 ERA. We're going to kick things off with Bowden Francis. He has come on strong uh, since being uh, called up here. And he has been absolutely phenomenal in his last five. Uh, looking at Just looking at his last four games, all going at least seven innings pitched. And he's averaging like 1.5 hits per game. Um, the strikeout numbers are solid, not giving up much in the walk department here or there. He'll give up a home run. He's given up two earned runs in the last four games in the last five. He's only given up four earned runs in the last five games. And this, this is a pretty good competition against Boston. 
Uh, solid performance against Baltimore and the Cubs here. I'm just very impressed with what I'm seeing out of him. They probably got a stub, a stud here. And on the other side with Christopher Sanchez, he has major home road splits. He is phenomenal in Philadelphia, but when you get him on the road, he has a five over five ERA and he struggles mightily against right-handed batters with a 300, oh, well over 300 batting average. All right. So I'm going to be going with the upset here. Give me the Blue Jays at plus 105. I like the value with this team here for the over under. Give me the under on the eight total runs for this matchup. So Love Blue Jays on the money line in the under of eight. Those are going to be our selections for the Wednesday slate. Let me know in that comment section down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What are going to be your props and plays for Wednesday? Let me know in that comment section down below. If you want to sign up for that Patreon, that's going to be provided in the description section. You get daily bets, future bets, and access to that group chat that's going off 24-7. And remember, guys, we're getting things kicked off for NFL on Thursday. Probably I'll try to release it, that video, Wednesday night. We'll see how things go. But that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, the end of baseball has been wild. But get ready for what we've been waiting for. Football. It is football season now. Get signed up for the Patreon and don't miss out on week one plays. Uh, remember, link provided down below. This is your boy Chef D and I'll be back very soon. Peace out.